everything's turn over price now. There's um, some little elves down there. But we do. There are the cute little cardboard cutout elves. And another one. And then the first thing I spotted was this ram one, like a ball. And he was modern and cost like, I don't know, dang near $50. And I don't know, there's a lot of jumping around in this first little bit. There's a face on that furniture I never noticed. Some beautiful plates. Um, a monk guy. Very cool book stand. And there's like a bear salt and pepper shaker, but then the other one's a lady. So I'm like, why is there a lady and a bear? And that was a cute little nesting dish with a blue cat. And that was a cobalt blue, one of the kids' drinking glasses. I normally find them in amber. And I've seen the pink ones, but never a cobalt one. See how the frames are jumping around? It's just strange. Anyway, that's a neat plate. Both of those plates, actually. And that's an oriental-like fairy lamp. And it was amberina, but it was flashed on. You could see some of the paint was peeling off if you looked close. And then strawberry bookends, which I'm like, oh my gosh. But they were expensive. There's the camera freaking out again. And then we see a lot of these kinds of statues around here. That was $16. And it wasn't even labeled Fenton. And I was kind of like laughing at that price. Um, but I've got to remember, this is a retail shop, not, well, it's a flea market, so. Would be, and these were different types of stamps, or books of stamps, rather. But I wanted to say they were kind of asking more than I wanted to pay for those as well. And there's some guy, and we're like, excuse me. And there are a lot of cute little things around here. 50 cents each for those old birthday cards. And then this vase was a... Oh, it had a special name. Not, uh, don't remember. But... I'm starting to realize people aren't that much into pottery anymore. And that is what I am used to shopping for. Some cool fan bookends. Um, clear candy dish pedestal bowl. This is a very nice tin. It was made by Canco. And that's a very nice. It had quite a bit of corrosion. Poker set, overpriced glass, um, some Christmas eggs, more overpriced glass. I'm trying to figure out what those things say, but I can't. And I'm like, Rija Aran. <laughs> and then some pink depression. There's one of those Napco eggs in the back. I didn't even check to see how much it was. I'm like, yeah, I've seen enough of this. So there's some more depression glass. The stuff to the right is flashed. And like the similar stuff I bought recently, which is not flashed. Because one day I was going to buy the pedestal dish. $25, but is that not the cutest deer pulling a cart? I was like, Randy would die. But I mean, $25 is about what it's worth. 
That was some cool crackle glass by Rainbow. And it was extremely overpriced as well. It's like Amberina. It was pretty. Um, they had the hearts, diamonds, spades, and clubs of those little dishes. And then I don't know what I'm looking at while y'all are staring over there. Oh, it was a fairy lamp, but it was TR glass, and it was, they were all amber colored, and they were all kind of tiny. They had three of them like that. And I'll make you guys stare at things while I look at other things sometimes. Five dollars, and I thought that was very pretty, but I don't know if I'd have a buyer for it, so I put it back. Oh yeah, but coming back to that flashed blue carnival glass, I was going to buy the candy dish one day, and I held it up. I was like, "Is this real or is this flash?" You're like, "Oh, that's definitely the real stuff, baby." At this place, held it up to the light. I was like, "No, it's flashed." You could see where it was pulling off. There was an Aladdin thermos. I don't think it was priced yet. And I don't... I don't play the pricing games with people. If something's not priced, I'm moving on. Because they sure don't like to give discounts. Like... If you buy all everything from one dealer and there's like I don't know how many dealers in here then they'll try to give you a discount but if you're like would you take six instead of seven dollars for something they'd be like oh no that's like 35% off or whatever the math is and so it's not one of those places that likes to will and deal. There's taco bookends. Tiki time. I know, this is some bad filming. Again, like my hands shake a lot. Um, here we are in the different part of the shop. Um... I really, 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 really wanted that, but it was too much money. And now we're in the, like, warehouse part of the shop. A Hager pig, and it looks like it would be for, like, a leaning pot. But then it looks like something you'd cook in, so I really don't understand the Hager pig. Oh, cut to somewhere else. Here's where the Christmas stuff is kept. Well, no, actually, my camera storage was full when I went through the Christmas things. But I did pick up a few, like their vintage stuff. They didn't have too much vintage Christmas. That whole set was like 14 bucks, which wasn't bad, but it's probably modern. Oh, Four dollars for a plain swan. I was like, no. And then it was one of those ceramic trees, but it was like LED lights. And I was, it was a lot of money, and I kind of wanted an old one. And in retrospect, I'm glad I did not get it. And then I found fairy lights. And then another thing of fairy lights. And they were a dollar each. And I was like, heck yes. And light fixtures, which I do need. Mirrors, which I do need. Um, let's see. So there's the rest of the light fixtures. 
Okay, so the Ritz tin, I like the crisp tin, and then there's a premium tin, and I like messaged the thrifter community that we're all kind of connected through on Instagram. Like, are they worth between 10 and 12 dollars? And like, nobody answered me back, and then a while later, um, Mid-Century Wasted told me that they were basically retail price. And I told her, I thanked her and told her I went ahead and passed on them. I think Nate answered me and he was just, he didn't know. But, oh well. Sometimes you find some neat odds and ends. Like those clear, um, Home Co. fairy lamps. They had two tops right there, but not the bottoms. I know another place that has a bunch of the tops, but not the bottoms. I think they wanted like $16 for that owl trinket box. And I thought to myself, no, I don't think so. Not today. <laughs> Some fake lemons. I don't know why, but those made me think of Dallas City Vintage. Even though, wasn't it? Um. Jeez, I'm trying to blink. $45, and you would get the full set. Like, that thing was packed filled with the boxes, and I was like, that's pretty good for... Retail, but not for resale. Panda, 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 I believe is what I exclaimed when I saw that timer. I thought he was cute. And... Just some, a lot of random stuff. It's a lot to look at at once. I have that bear planter. Nobody wanted him. And then I saw the um, ivy planters, which I like the way they were colored. And they were matching, but they wanted $10 each. If they were $10 together, I probably would have got them. And then just all these dishes. I mean, they need dishes quit <laughs> with the dishes. Or have like a, I don't know, donate them to people who have lost their houses in fires. It's just a lot of dishes, you know? And they've been there for a while. That would have been cool to have found or before Thanksgiving. But he doesn't have any tail feathers. He probably had a top. Thanksgiving platters. Glass Hershey's Kiss. Cute little cherub. That was a really neat dish. And it was only six bucks. But I didn't know anything about it. Eight dollars. That was a cool little basket. I think it was modern though. In retrospect, I wish I would have gotten that for myself. Since I have a similar tattoo, but I was like, oh, it doesn't have a maker on it. And I was thinking about for other people. That was only $5, but one of the birds was missing its beak. But it was very pretty. And then, I love that because the little dog has devil eyes. He looks like a little French bulldog or a Boston Terrier French Bulldog mix, although they probably didn't have those when that figurine was created. That looks like some English pottery, and it is Alfred Meekin, England. Meekin, that sounds familiar. And that's some park in Houston. Um, 
Tupperware pitcher. I didn't even see that. I thought that was a cute little set. Although it's probably modern. And then that owl trivet. I think it was eight bucks. And I had found a poodle trivet. I took a picture of it. Because my storage was full. So maybe I'll flash some photos at the end. That was an Avon um, Bulldog Pipe perfume bottle or cologne bottle. And I almost got it. It was eight bucks. And I was like. Do I want to get into collecting Avon bottles? Because I really don't have a place for them. <laughs> and then right now I'm chanting to myself. No more mugs. No more mugs. No more mugs. Okay, so now we're entering another area of the building. And I call this the dark room. Because it's pretty dark in there. There is some like seafoam green melamine plates. You get the stack of plates for 12 and I think the bowl was priced separate, but I thought that was a good deal. A little baby organ. Mm. It's just a bunch of clear glass. And then I found this left an angel and she's from August and she just has a couple of little chips on the flower petals, which is to be expected. And so I picked her up, and I was like, heck yeah, that's a good deal. One dollar. Left an angel, and I put her in my little basket, and hopefully I can make a profit. That was a ridiculous amount of money, I remember that. Because it was all chipped up and it didn't have a maker. It was like, made in Taiwan. We call that again. The applied flowers. I can never think of the name. And then I was very curious about the pitcher and glass set. It was old depression glass because it was super thin. I couldn't find a price, couldn't find a price, couldn't find a price. And then the big plate behind it was $150 and I was like that must be for the whole set if not I don't know where they're going with all that stuff and I mean they just have a lot of beautiful things in this room and then I show you the shark glasses they have so much beautiful so many beautiful things shark glasses that was a cute um, little princess doll, but she looked modern. That looked cool. Let's see. Shaky, shaky. There's this paperweight, okay. Well, we'll get there, I guess. So I'm looking at that dog planner, and he's very similar to one I have, but I think that one's Royal Copley. And they were asking like 16 bucks, which I think is, you know, full retail. There was Santa on a sleigh, and it started playing music, and he was cool though. Some little, um, quail I think those are. I don't know. I don't know my birds that well. Now that paperweight, I could not tell for the life of me what was in that paperweight. And then somebody had wrote on the back of it. Y'all you know, just look at the pretty dishes next to it. <laughs> and I still couldn't tell what it was. And there's a Royal Copley duck. And there was one on the other side of the store for twice the price. And he wasn't as crazed. But I ended up picking up this one because, you know, he was affordable. 
so blurry camera blurry camera that was the cutest squeaker ever but it was sixteen dollars and then that was a twenty four dollar pull along cow and both things I would love to find like for two dollars a piece and then try to resell <laughs> And then that was like a stars and bars banana bowl. I believe that was Ellie Smith. But it wasn't positive. And it was like 16 bucks. But I don't think a lot of people are into the green glass much anymore. That was a pretty little vase. I looked at it and thought about it for a minute. Ooh, and then the dolls. I may or may not have ended up getting a doll. 